We're going to move on to public comment, but I would just like to make a statement before public comment. I know you all want to, or most of you want to have something to say, but our public comments are limited to three minutes. So what I would appreciate that when I call on you, you get your three minutes and don't try to get back onto the floor again. Give everybody a chance for their three minutes, because otherwise we could get one person just dominating the entire conversation, and then other people will get upset. I support Laura. Mr. Thayer, nothing to the public, you're an asshole. You shouldn't be here. Hey, hey, come on now. That's enough. You should have been fired and never brought up. Please sit down. Wait. Or I'll ruin your I got order. three minutes, you said. No, sir. Not with that kind of language. He is not the man for the job in Iron River. <clears throat> Whether or not you like it, or whether anybody else likes it. He's not for this town. Thank you. But when you when you make a statement like that, John, I wish you would state the council. Not me. I'm one member of the council. I didn't direct that at yes, you. Yes, you did. You said you. And you pointed at me. There's people here and there's people here that sit on this council. We all make the decision. Who's head of that council? I am the mayor. Thank you. But I have one vote like the rest of them. One vote. <clears throat> Who's next? The other thing I guess I'd like to ask is why hasn't this council addressed the criminal activities that the city manager has been involved in, um, putting a lock on an evidence room, mm -hmm. um, uh, trying to get into Laura's computer, which a, a city manager has no business going into police files. You're citizens. You're not privy to that information. I would like to ask the council if they are at this time considering firing Mr. Thayer. Point blank, I want to know. Is that on your docket? Are you guys thinking about letting him go? It's not on our docket. Okay, so what do we do to get you guys to do that? You don't get us to do that. Ma we don't? No. Okay, is everybody that, heard that? Ma'am, these yeah, are You're losing officials. control, ma'am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am going to rule you out of order. Please sit down. There are our elected officials. And they're telling us that they don't have to listen to us or what we want. This guy wants to be the he wants to be the czar of Iron River. And if we let that happen, we're going to rue the day. And I'll leave. That's what you please officers are doing. Please do not interrupt the person that's talking. It's not polite. Out of all of you, Mr. Tarsi, I I watch your body language up there. Mm -hmm. You're all sitting scared. One man. He's the color orange. Man, got one of those. You don't know me very well. No, I don't. Okay. I don't ever. So before you make statements about me, please let's you and I get acquainted. I said sometime. your body language. Okay. Well, my body language has lots of times says things that it shouldn't say. But what I'm saying is, I'm not afraid to voice my opinion with him or anybody else. Good. Okay. Good. I'm glad we'll to hear that. We'll set the record straight. Good. Good. I'm not done saying. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Nothing has really been productively done about compensating Officer Laura for all that she's gone through because of one member and a man who has a record behind him of being a sexist. Well, ma'am, hold it now. Hold it. No, no please. Don't no, go there. Let me finish. No, no. I'm not going to let you if you're going to use that kind of vocabulary, okay? I hate to be rude, okay? But if you have something else to say, please, but don't use that kind of language. He has done the same thing that he's doing in Iron River, in Lexington, and in Grayland. He tried to get a job at uh, another place, and they said, no, we're not going to hire you. I know about that, sir. And this gentleman has a problem with number one, the police. Are you a psychiatrist? I'm a person that reads the paper and I am not stupid. And you believe everything that's in the paper? I don't believe everything that's in the paper. Well, that's what you're quoting the paper. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what I think, Mr. Okay, you're ready? Go ahead. You've got two minutes. And there's no left. paper. Go ahead. The gentleman here has no respect for a police officer. He had no respect for women. And you check with our police officers? I don't have to check with well, police officers. Well, you just officers. made a comment that our police officers. Which police officer are you speaking of? Our well, police officers? Well, I haven't. They're uh, the ones that work for him. The 
ones that work for him that I would talk to, but not here. Okay. This gentleman fired him. Fired her. Okay. We don't need any threats. We don't need any derogatory statements. If you have a constructive statement to make, I will respect your hand. If not, we're going to move on. And you're going to thoroughly check background, unlike they have done with you? Yes. Oh. I can say what I want. This is a country. Yeah, but you can't lie publicly. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're speaking for us. We bet this man the best way we could. And quit yawning and moaning. I'm tired of that. This man was vetted by me and by this council. We checked his background. We checked everything about him. We know all about the Mackinac. We know all about Lexington. We know all about Grayley. He fulfilled our needs and we hired him by a landslide vote. And he's done us a great job. Thank you. 